Welcome back. Well, rain chances on the upswing through tomorrow, but fortunately it looks like the threat of heaviest rains just west of Acadiana, where some pretty big rain totals are showing up in our model data. We'll show you that coming up in just a little bit, but just for now, staying warm and humid with better rain chances, so get the umbrellas ready. You'll probably need it at some point tomorrow. Here's the big picture across uh, much of North America. We got this huge ridge. Actually, it's a record-breaking ridge of high pressure that is recording uh, the highest pressures uh, recorded up toward New England, not only for February, but for March, April, and into early May. So this is a big ridge of high pressure. We have a big low pressure trough here in the west with cold air and sandwiched in between. This is the uh, frontal zone that's going to be very active over the next several days with the threat of flooding rains from Texas all the way up through the Midwest, and they already have troubles up by the Midwest. They don't need more, and this big ridge of high High pressure will continue to funnel in deep tropical moisture, but it may also keep the strongest storms and the heaviest rains just west of Acadiana. This is the way it looks across the nation's midsection this evening with rain and storms uh, on the flip side. Some wintry precipitation as you get into Oklahoma earlier today. It was in the upper 20s in Oklahoma City, but in the lower 70s in Dallas, but Dallas has cooled down. The fronts move through there, and this is where all the heavy rain is tonight. Arkansas is going to be in a lot of trouble with this uh, weather scenario over the next few days and this is what we're watching right now down here in South Texas this is going to be riding off to the north northeast expanding giving Houston a good soaking first thing in the morning and then our part of the world as the day progresses but mainly western Louisiana pretty quiet this evening nothing on the radar for right now there might be a few sprinkles overall overnight tonight I'll keep rain chance at 20 30 percent just in case and as we start into early tomorrow morning pretty quiet uh, here we are at eight o'clock and this is when the showers and storms get cooking across eastern Texas and then southwest Louisiana. Very heavy rainfall western Louisiana and this future cast run really looks reasonable compared to the other models. So this is why we'll go with the 60% chance of rain locally. We will see scattered showers and storms moving on through, but look at the heavy rains that continue to train over the same area. This is going to be trouble for western Louisiana into the central and northern part of the state and still pretty good rain chances pretty close by through 10 o'clock tomorrow night. But notice most of Acadiana not seeing the heavy stuff, and this is the way it may play out. Scattered showers and thunder showers may continue into Thursday. So give you an idea, this is a computer forecast, complete computer forecast, but it shows you how the rain chances will be much lower off to the east, much higher to the west as the day progresses. You're in the, <clears throat> pardon me, 80, 90, 100% range. The rest of Acadiana in the 50% range. So we're going to go 60% on your rain chances for tomorrow. Maintain some decent rain chances into tomorrow evening. Uh, this activity is still too close for us not to keep the rain chances somewhat higher. So rainfall totals, this is where it gets interesting. Notice much of Acadiana not seeing much, but you get into Alexandria, Leesville, just north and west of Lake Charles. You're pushing five to seven inches of rain, and you localize that even more so with uh, the uh, four kilometer RPM model uh, will show you very heavy rainfall. You get into the shades of pink right here. You're 10 inches or better. So uh, this is not saying it's going to happen, but it is a red flag that there's going to be some serious, very heavy rainfall. The possibility of flooding rain anywhere from southeast Texas into western Louisiana and uh, possibly central Louisiana. And then on top of that, maybe even a marginal risk of a few isolated severe storms that could rotate and produce an isolated tornado perhaps damaging winds, but not for Acadiana at this point. Temperatures holding in the lower 70s tonight, the upper 70s to near 80 again tomorrow. And once again, like today, the breezes will continue and all these uh, breezy southerly and southeasterly winds will be feeding into all the storms that are just off to our north and west. So breezy and mild tonight, few showers and storms by daybreak, but generally a quiet night. We'll keep 60% on your rain chances, but the heaviest weather most likely to the west, upper 70s to near 80 for tomorrow. Rain chances in the 40% range Thursday, 40 to 50% Friday. We maintain the warm pattern through Saturday. Front eventually gets here with maybe slightly better rain chances Sunday. Maybe a severe weather threat Saturday night, early Sunday, but too early to tell. And then as we go into next week, still unsettled, but you might have a couple of days next week that look pretty good. Tuesday and Wednesday are my days that I would pick if I were going to call in sick, take off, <laughs> or not show up. Planning the idea now. Thanks, Rob. Still ahead on KTC.